Ready to live among robots? Hi. I'm here today to bring you the most important tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this news every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, what a way to get dressed. The technology behind Bella Hadid's spray-on dress is the innovative material developed by a company called Fabricant that is exploring uses in fashion, healthcare and the automotive industry. The Coperni dress spray painted on her naked body at Paris Fashion Week and 48 hours following the show, generated a media impact value of $26.3 million, including $20.9 million on social media. In 2003, Tories created Fabricant a liquid fiber bound together with polymers, biopolymers and greener solvents, that evaporates when the spray reaches a surface. The fabric feels like suede and can be manipulated like any other. News source, WWD, Dutch designer Badawine Buitenhek has built his own solar-powered kettle and coffee bean roaster, in an experiment that saw him live in an apartment without mains gas or electric for a week. Buitenhek wanted to explore whether clean energy could be harnessed by people living in rented apartments without access to a rooftop, instead of exclusively by homeowners. He completed the project, called Living with the Sun, as part of his studies on the Industrial Design Master's program at CABC in The Hague. News source, CABC, The Future is Near. Tesla showed off two prototypes of its Optimus humanoid robot, which will be powered by the same underlying AI technology as its self-driving systems. CEO Elon Musk estimated the robot would cost less than $20,000 to produce. The first prototype, Bumble C, is a rough development robot created using semi-off-the-shelves actuators. The second prototype, though unable to walk on its own, resembled more of the final version that Tesla expects to go into production. Customers will be able to order the robot within three years and probably not more than five years. So a robotic butler may be in your home sooner than you think. News source, The Verge, Reuse, Recycle, Resale. China-based fast fashion retailer, Xi'an, launched a resale program called Xi'an Exchange in which U.S.-based customers can buy and sell previously owned items via the brand's mobile app. This aims to simplify resale by letting sellers list items through an interface that can be pre-populated with their previous purchases to make listing quick and easy. The retailer will receive 5% of sellers' proceeds and plans to expand the service globally in 2023. Not a bad idea to be eco-friendly, is it? News source, CB Insights, German designer architect Stefan Henrik created a fully 3D printed shoe called the Cryptide. The creature-like footwear is specifically designed to be laser-centered on the Centratec S2 system with flexible TPE material. The sneaker is inspired by so-called cryptids mythical creatures such as Bigfoot or Loch Ness that may or may not exist. Henrik's design is specifically made to be 3D printed on the Centratec S2 system with a single material the rubber-like Centratec TP elastomer. News source, Centratec, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360fashion.net slash podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode. Get